What's up guys, welcome to Inside the 10. Joining me is a man who's just back from a whirlwind recruiting trip to the States, Ronan Patterson. How are you doing, Ronan? Amazing. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. Um, looking forward to getting a chat to you. Ronan, t tell me about your trip. Uh, I mean, like, you know, it, it seems like you, you had a great time and you got to see some, some great colleges and you even got some, some scholarship offers. Yeah, it's, it's a hard one to, to, to squeeze all into one kind of sentence. I'll be here all day talking to you. But, um, yeah, we started off the trip uh, on the East Coast um, and um, started visiting colleges in uh, upstate New York. Um, we were in Massachusetts. And then I uh, headed down into my uh, college that I had a lot of interest in was uh, Monmouth University. So spent yeah. the day um, there with the coach. Um, he gave us a great tour. You know, we were on campus maybe for four hours. Like so, it was it was great to show that they're they were interested from the start. Um, really loved the location. So um, it was really really high up in where I wanted to be. Um, we got if I had to pick somewhere um, to go, I would pick that location that area. So. It was amazing to get that opportunity. And after that, we then headed back to upstate New York uh, to meet with a, a GAA um, a club. And it was great to be able to link up with the Irish and just show that like the Irish-American connection um, that we have. And it's uh, it's predominant, I think it, um, everyone knows that. Um, so then I actually left Ross and the crew. Ross headed West Coast. Um, that's, this is Ross Bulger, if, he's, if you don't know who I'm talking about. I'm sure he's known by now. Um, he, uh, yeah, he's he's he ripped up that tour. But uh, yeah, he went to to the West Coast, visited a few colleges. Um, I was a bit upset when I found out who he was picking. I, I, I um, because there was a college that would have been in the same division as me that had gave him an offer. So we could have been playing each other in week seven. So um, that would have been a cool story. But uh, look, I'm I'm delighted for him all the same. Like um, Idaho's huge huge college and a great setup for him and look as long as he's happy i'm happy so tell me how the opportunity for the recruiting trip came about you know was it organized through true leader kicking yeah so uh so leader kicking is the brand and again um you'll be able to find that online um explain a little bit more what it is but leader kicking was set up by Tig leader um and i contacted Tig about five months ago um just january just after christmas there and Asked him what all this was about. I seen this ginger lad on TV, Ross Bulger, and I seen him on TV too, Tig, and was like, "What's going on here?" Uh, he was talking about that he's able to go to America and get a scholarship just from naturally being able to kick. Like, I just thought it was yeah. all a load, just not true. Like, I was like, I need to find out more. So, got in touch with Tig, and Tig kind of explained it to me, and so then I just turned up to a session with Tig, like anyone can. And um, yeah, just started practicing the kick, uh, that's field goals, punting, um, even kickoffs. And from that, then Ty kind of has an idea. Look, you'll be able to progress with this. Like uh, you're teachable, and uh, that's kind of where it started off. Then yeah, so I just kept going to sessions with Ty. Um, I know five months doesn't seem a lot, but you can really put in a lot of work in five months. Um, Especially if you have the, the natural background in kicking like yourself. So tell me about your, your background, your, your sport background. Yeah, so I have a, a Gaelic and rugby background. Um, I played underage rugby with Ulster um, um, rugby-wise. And then I played all the way up to senior with Calvin um, for Gaelic football. Um, I, I got on well when I was like 18, 19 with glandular fever. So I kind of stopped me playing the rugby. Um, like I lost a load of weight and was mentally kind of struggling. So then I got myself back into the GA, um, but never really fully got back into it. Um, kind of was just focusing on college and stuff like that there. So uh, it's great to, to find an opportunity now that I'm able to, well, I'm at a more mature stage in my life now. I just um, finished my undergrad and yeah, it looks like the sky's the limit now. Like I'm able to do something I really enjoy, which is competing at a high level and get to complete my graduate program. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So because of your, your strong background in sports that involve kicking, I mean, that's the, kind of the way that the, 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 the guys who are already kicking at colleges went, they all had that background in GAA or in rugby. So it's interesting to see that, that, that trend continuing and 
people who are used to kicking balls in sports are naturally progressing towards American football. Yeah, yeah it's it, it is amazing. Like it, it's great that like Tyke was able to go and and do it himself. As like he had the rugby background over in the US and went and progressed himself. So he's he's been there. He's done it. So he knows it's possible. So it was great having sort of like a mentor to look up to and say like, look, he's n- not like making up lies here. Like it's possible. If you can bang balls, there's a chance you can get over here. Like, and so yeah, that's that's his saying. He goes like, "You bang balls, and I look after everything else." That's what Tyke says. As long as you bang the balls, everything else will fall into place. And look, he he stood to his word. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, t- tell me, you contacted Tyke. You went down. You started kicking American footballs about the place. Was he then able to identify from what you were doing? where your strengths might be on the American football field. Yeah, yeah. so Tyke was very open with it. Like, he would focus on every every step of it, like, um, equally. So, like, every every one of his sessions, we'd start off maybe punting. So that would just be the, the straight-off, like, NFL-style punts with the spiral. Um, next step would be the rollouts. Um, he'd then maybe shorten your steps, telling you, like, look, it's not like it's... I, I wanted you to see if you can kick it properly, like a Gaelic ball. But now, like, you have to use short, shorter steps. And he, like, uses that. Um, and then we go on, practice field goals. He he goes through loads of steps and ways you can kick it and, and, and better ways. And he has loads of techniques that might work for some people and, and work for others, which is great. And then kickoffs as well. Um, so I just naturally was better better at the, the punting. And so I really focused on on it. Like I still still practice field goals, but it's hard when you have Ross Bulger beside you banging field goals from like twenty meters behind you. So it's it's hard to focus on that. Um, but yeah, no, I really focused on on the the punting side of things. I love it, and I've really uh, tried to implement the spiral as well because I know after this year, like there's I need to progress and and try to make it further on in in, in the sporting background. So it's it'll be good to have the the national NFL look as well. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that I'm, I'm not any great shakes at kicking. Uh, I stopped playing GAA when I was about 12 years old, but I can imagine that the your your rugby kick out of your hand is a lot different technically than the the American football punt. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, the American football punt is actually, and it's, it's great, it's a great way of looking at it. You are actually positioning the ball um, for that your line and your kick that you're just kicking straight so your foot is kicking straight up and you line the ball with rugby it was more like we were like slicing the ball like t- to the corner or whatever to get a natural spiral but it's amazing how like if we position this ball and we have it this way every time you're just kicking it straight and it will naturally spiral for you I like I was shocked at the start but it makes so much more sense like you're getting max power on this kick because you're you're giving it um, the full wall up with the straight kick. So um, as long as you don't drop the ball sideways, you won't have to, or don't drop it in the wrong way, sorry, then it should just naturally spiral for you every time. So um, Ty spends a lot of time emphasizing it's all about the drop. Would it, like, don't worry about anything yeah. else. It's about the drop. If you get that drop perfect every time, that ball's going to fly. So that's why yeah. he looks at it. It, it, it's interesting to hear you say that, Ronan, because I, I talked to Ben Kiernan before, who's punting for University of North Carolina, who also has a rugby background. And he was talking about, you know, the, the shortening your steps and the technique and all that kind of thing. So, you know, it's interesting to hear that it's that it's a consistent thing for, for rugby players they have to work on when they're punting. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it is different. But like, we're... I think we have a slight advantage and like people are saying, oh, it's crazy that it's uh, like, I think we have a huge advantage. Like we're raw to the sport. Like we have, we have no old tricks to the trade or whatever. Like when we're being taught something, it's fresh, it's new. And we can be taught that from the start compared to maybe if I grew up playing and I had my own style and I was literally uncoachable, it'd be nearly impossible to do it. So um, I feel like we're lucky in a way that it's so raw for us that we can be taught this skill and try to master it from the start. So you you really like Monmouth? Is that where you see yourself playing? Yeah, yeah. No, like uh, I'm like ninety five percent sure that I'm going to end up there. Like it's it's not official yet. Um, we're we're trying to get a few teasing things done, but uh, I'll, I I I think I'll be a hawk by the time it's September comes. 
And what was it about the program that that, that attracted you to, to play there? Like, as I said, like, uh, I'm, I'm turning 24 on Sunday now and I've really started to focus on kind of my my future and like what I'm going to be doing when I'm older. And their business program is unreal. Like, it's one of the top ones in America. And to be able to, to get enrolled in it, let alone be able to play a sport at a really high standard that I can progress and actually keep going, it's, it's just a no-brainer. The location, the coaching staff, I even met some of the team they're just really nice, like a really good fit. Like I just feel like, like I wish I was over there right now, like with the lads, like training already. Um, so yeah, that's you, like you just have that gut instinct. Like and Ross, yeah. Ross had it with Idaho. Like he had a couple of colleges. Like you just have that gut feeling. You just have to go for it. Like and yeah, I know, I know it'll be the right choice when it officially comes out. <laughs> So you're talking about, you know, the future there. Like, in your mind, can you see yourself playing in the NFL in a couple of years? Yes, yeah, like, well, in my mind, five months ago, I didn't think I'd be getting a D1 offer. So, look, anything can happen. Uh, if, if I if I have leader kicking behind me, it seems like anything can happen, really. Um, but, yeah, look, that has to be my goal. Like, I need to go up there and show that, look, our, us Irish boys aren't here to mess around. Like, we want to pursue and get the same opportunity as everyone else so um yeah I, I i hope to i hope to get some good tape this year and push on like even if i have to play a couple of years in in other leagues like there's there's loads of other leagues there's even a european league now that's taken off so uh look Tig says once once you have that d1 offer and you play d1 football you have d1 tape the sky's the limit with that yeah yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's fantastic to see you guys going over there and, and getting the offers and and just ha- having a blast on on the tour as well. So, you know, if, if, like watching it over here, it's it's fantastic what your guys are doing. You're really blazing the blazing the trail for future, um, for future players. Um, do, do you have any funny stories from the trip? Did anything mad happen, or are you allowed to say? Ah, uh, like like the trip was. Like, it's so hard to explain. Like, it was unreal. Like, we were so upset that it was over. I remember we were sitting in the airport, and we're, like, when we landed in Dublin Airport, and we had to, like, we had a uh, camera guy, Tyler White, I'll give him a shout out. He was just amazing the whole trip. Like, it, it was new. It was the first time over in America. And, like, he was so helpful with everything, even other than just, like, recording the camera. Like, he'd done so much logistic work. Um, funny stories. Like, oh, like, me and Ross were just going at each other the whole trip. Like, so. We were probably a running comedy show for Ty and Tyler um, throughout the trip, but um, every day we, me and him done something probably stupid that just gave a good laugh for, for the whole trip. I can't really pinpoint much, too much, but um, yeah, it was just a banter throughout the trip was just unreal. Like, and I wouldn't have known Ross too well before this, like only maybe kicking sessions, but uh, it's mad how, how quick you can get to know someone when you're stuck beside them for 10 or 11 days. So, like it, it's 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 amazing as well how quickly you've progressed in your in your journey from you know less than six months ago not even kicking an American football to now having a D one scholarship. So that's fantastic. Tell me, would you have any advice for somebody who might be watching this who's thinking about giving it a shot? You know, get, taking up American football who has the same background as yourself but doesn't know where to start. Yeah, like I wouldn't even like even if you don't have. The, the like the Gaelic or rugby background or maybe you played it ages ago like I definitely give it a try like go to one of Tyg's sessions like he he will have he, he'll have sessions coming up very soon um, and me and Ross will probably be there as well just to kind of explain a bit more of, of the process because like when we started off we didn't have a clue what was going on so um, definitely just go for it like if you have any interest in it at all go to one of these sessions and you'll know straight away like um so yeah that's my advice definitely just instead of commenting online or, or saying that you might want to go just go and bite the bullet because that's what i done uh i rang tig he told me uh rang tig about five months ago he was in toronto i was like when's your next session like and he said i've won in two days in athlone i drove to athlone and that was it so <clears throat> it's it's possible like literally it's it's very possible that someone could be in our shoes this time next year again and we'll probably have much more training than I will. So, yeah. 
Yeah, no, fantastic. And look, we look, we look forward to, to seeing how you guys get on. And like, I have no doubt that at least one or, or not two of you will be playing on Sundays in a couple of years' time. I've one question to finish up with for your own. And who's your favorite NFL team and who do you see winning the Super Bowl this year? So I'm a huge, huge fan of the Eagles. Uh, I would have been, and just because I love Philadelphia, uh, I, I played football over there for a summer and I have a lot of friends there. So I'm just going to, I'm going to have to back the Eagles as well to win it out too. Uh, yeah, I like the underdog story. It's it's all me. So I think um, we're proof of it too. That, um, so I like a good under, underdog story. Then we'll be out for revenge after you know dropping the ball in this in the Super Bowl last year. So yeah. go go Eagles. That's it. Go Eagles. Listen, Ronan. Thank you very much for joining me. And listen, looking forward to, to seeing your continued success. And wish you all best for, for the season ahead. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Take care. Bye.